Hi, Elliot Easton of the Cars here. We're testing out some of my favorite guitars through the Spark Cab. For all you guitar fans out there, we call them guitar geeks sometimes, I thought I would uh, show you a couple of my special guitars and some of my favorite instruments. So this one, this is a concept guitar that was built by the Gibson Custom Shop. The Les Paul single cutaway guitar was discontinued in 1960. So my concept was, what might a 1964 Les Paul look like? It's got the bridge with nylon saddles, black chrome dome knobs, Pelham blue. It's got my little tiki guy on the headstock and, and what they call stingers on the uh, headstock and heel. And it's chambered. <laughs> There's the tiki again. That is so good. <laughs> this is actually a signature model that I did with Gibson. The SG Custom is like one of the sexiest solid body guitars ever made, and I just wanted to make it more playable. <laughs> This is uh, my second Gibson signature model. We call it the Tiki Bird, because instead of the Firebird, we've got a Tiki. I went with full-size humbuckers, 57 classics, a Bigsby, with a, a B7 Bigsby, which has the retainer bar, and I, I have these little four mini switches. Coil split for the treble pickup, bass pickup, out of phase when both pickups are on, and this is a blower switch that just sends the treble pickup right to the jack bypassing all the pots and all the wiring for a, a preset lead tone. That's it. It's, it's got the smell even. This one was a gift from the car's manager. It's a 1965 left-handed Trini Lopez standard. <laughs> This one is a 1966 Jazzmaster, left-handed. Usually when you see the binding on the neck, you see the big block inlays. And for a short while in 1966, they did binding with the dot inlays, and this is one of those. It's a great rhythm instrument, like Beach Boys type surfy. Of course, it's become very popular. It became popular in the 90s um, with the grunge bands because they were, they were so unpopular that they could be had for very cheap. Think of it. A 1966 Jazzmaster 50-year-old guitar through a brand new Spark Amp and Spark Cab, and it sounds just the way you want it to sound. I like it. Yeah, hell yeah.